love to push the ball up the floor, even off of made shots. And, and trying to get those easy ones before the defense can get set is always an advantage, and you're seeing more and more teams trying to speed up their pace of play. Now let's take a look at Louisville's opening lineup. We've got Brown, and it's Bradley in at the center, locking down the middle. No good from Irving. For Louisville, they come in off a loss to Boston. Conchar, the pass to Brandt. The shot will not fall. Good D by Drummond. And so it's Irving. He brings it up with an S. There's the pass to KD. Shoots from 14. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Now the mid-range is his comfort spot. The sweet spot for KD doing work. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I had a chance to talk with the head coach for Louisville. Big man and big problems tonight with Andre Drummond on the other side. Coach told me that they can't depend on one player keeping Drummond off the glass. It's going to take a group effort on the boards. They know the task that they face, and it's a big one. Guys? Thank you, David. Here's Conchar following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Wetford. On the high post, he drills it. Assist, John Conchar. Brooklyn with the ball. Outside Irving. Durant with a screen on Holiday. And that one's good, Irving. Irving's got his second bucket of the night. You guys know it's pick your poison when you are trying to cover Kyrie out of the pick and roll. Brown outside. A shot off that time, and Brooklyn will come the other way. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. Yeah, in that game, I, I thought they took advantage of some sloppy play, but give them credit. They turned mistakes into points. Well, you have to capitalize when your opponent has miscues and give this team some credit. Every time that opponent turned it over, they capitalized. And Brooklyn has possession. Louisville getting their last shot to get Offensive rebound, Drummond, and the rejection by Bradley. Here's the three, and it's Brown that time on the assist by Bradley. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the trip. Curry looking it over. KD with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. KD with the bucket. But it doesn't get any easier than that. Give Kevin Durant that interior look, and he will score it. Now the great thing about Durant, he gives you a lot of everything. Yeah, it goes way beyond being versatile. This guy is a great shooter, an elite historical scorer, rebounder, passer, shot blocker, one of the most complete players in the history of the game. And again, it's Louisville from deep. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. KD's shot is off. I know he wants to answer the three that was just made on the other end, but he can't let that affect his judgment. He's got to find the best shot possible. And here's Brown outside, and again, it's Louisville from deep. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Drummond on the wing, Irving. Drummond sets the screen for Irving to end the run. The shot is good, and so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Time out. Awaiting. With Florida section, it's going to win the free teacher toss. Come on. Let me hear you. All right. Look who's coming out to the court. Come on. Get loud for sure. Brooklyn it. Marcus Aldridge has checked in for Andre Drummond. Nicholas Claxton comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Ben Simmons in for Curry. Down low, lets it go from 11. Jackson kicks to Cauley Stein. Louisville passing it around. Lee outside. That one, no good. Burnett's go the other way with it. 
here's Harris. Cauley Stein grabs the board. Louisville leading by eight to the middle. And he comes up with the deuce. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And it's Simmons penetrating. And the rejection by Jackson. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. So it's Brooklyn now. Let's it go from 11. Irving's shot is good. Six points for Kyrie Irving. I think we all understand how dangerous Kyrie Irving is in the mid-range game. Delivers one there. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Nets trail by 10. Harris outside. Simmons on the wing. Last two minutes to play. First quarter. Harris outside. Lock at six. Here's Claxton, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established a great inside position. Griffin's checked in for Brooklyn. On the league doors, we're seeing plenty of small ball, but some teams are trying to go big. If you were a coach at this point, which way would you go? Well, it's all contingent on who your personnel is. Do your strengths lie in the post, or do they lie on the perimeter? The best coaches put their best players in positions to be successful. Can you maximize the talent on your roster? Here's Irving after Josh Jackson's button. Passes to Simmons. And the rejection by Coley Stein. You better come stronger than that. Coley Stein, a presence defensively. Claxed in the pass to Harris. Here's Irving, and finally they hit one. Irving. Irving's got eight points. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot, hot. Wasted no time on that one. And, and off to an incredible start here early from long range. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for Brooklyn. Trailing by 10. Pass to Claxton. Now here's Simmons. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Irving, and it's Brooklyn scoring again. Great quarter at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Pulls it from 20. A rebound by the Nets. Nobody near Irving. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. And stolen by Simmons. From 11 feet away. Not going to go that time. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Louisville leads by five. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. Bang, your Brooklyn X. All right, Brooklyn's coming out to the court. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Louisville. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. There's something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the court for Louisville, we've got Bradley, and it's Brown in at the three, the small forward. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. And there's the pass to KD. Outside curve. 
Shot clock at five. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for LaMarcus Aldridge. Blake Griffin. And it's maybe it's shocking. Maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring Shoot trend over two. the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. And for a player with Blake Griffin's physical makeup, it was a big adjustment when he had to deal with injury issues. He's really had to reshape his body and his game. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldrich. Thank you for the baton, Kevin. Kyrie Irving, of course, marches to the beat of his own drum. At times, that might rub people the wrong way. But Kyrie says, I've learned lessons from him. That's the most beautiful and exciting part, just the growth. What I'm saying is, it's always been bigger than the game for me. And guys, you have to respect his willingness to go it alone. You do indeed, D.A. Thank you for that portrait. Irving's shot is good. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And one thing about Griffin and the injuries break that he went through, he did everything he could to get his body back to where it needed to be. And he didn't care what it was, yoga, weights, conditioning, you name it, because he knows how important it is to be able to elevate. And Griffin needs to be explosive, and he'll work 24-7 to make sure he is. T-shirt, T-shirt, T-shirt. Come on, everybody. We got T-shirt for everybody. Hey. Some changes for Brooklyn. Andre Drummond's checked in for Griffin. And it's LaMarcus Aldridge in for Irving. And Holiday kicks to Brown. At the elbow, it's Bradley. And they get it. And it's Brown missing. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Curry, good. Their great outside shooting really fueling this run. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Holiday with the three. Louisville, no good that time either. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Pass to Conchar. Shoots over Curry. Conchar, good. Conchar's got seven points in the game. And with those points, he's able to stop a 15-0 run by the Nets. Passes it to Simmons. Aldridge with a screen on Brown. Here's Simmons, and Simmons slams it in. And not a lot you can do to prevent Simmons from creating space. It's what he does best in pick and roll call. Outside Holiday. That one doesn't go. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Katie against Holiday. Durant kicks to Aldridge. In close, in deep, Drummond drops it in. Drummond's got the lead up to nine now for Brooklyn. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. And a chance for this to second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Nets. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight reel plays in transition. They've shown some real tenacity on the boards, and it's turned into a lot of second-chance points. Carly Stein, he's checked in for Tony Brantley. And the free throw, no good. Greg, you're a former player, and now the father of a young NBA star. What's it like to see the next generation of NBA talent move into the league? Oh, it's an incredible feeling because we all feel like we're a part of this NBA family. And to see the stars we have today, the character they have, the way they approach the game, man, this is the best time ever to be an NBA fan. Time out. Awaiting. Who wants the teacher? 
All right, look who's coming out to the court. Come on, get loud for your Brooklyn X. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And Louisville making a change here. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Here's Brissett. Louisville, no good that time either. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Good on the three-point shot. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. And Kevin Durant signing an extension this past offseason. Locked in with the Nets for the next four years. Seems like Bruce there's Brown. a very good chance Durant could end his career in Brooklyn. Well, you can see it's a matter of pride out there for these guys. Absolutely. When someone makes a shot, the first thought is, I want my own back. Shot's good by Simmons. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Coffee passes to Carly Stock. Out to Lee. And here's Brown outside. Simmons pulls it in. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up there, last five baskets, three have been tripled. Coffee can't get it to go. That's leading by 17. Here's Curry. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Curry. Simmons got his fourth assist in this one. They are just killing him on the interior. Here's Coffee. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. And George Drummond with it. He'll bring it up for the Nets. And the Nets, another three. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. 127 left in the first half of the game. And here's Brown outside. Rebounded by the Nets. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Curry kicks to Simmons. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Claxton the pass to Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Some changes for Brooklyn. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Drummond. Harris comes in for Curry, and Irving subbed in for Simmons. And Louisville here with the change, too. Jackson's checked in. One shot. One shot. There's 57 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's Irving, and again, it's Brooklyn converting. This offense just continues to impress. 50 seconds left to play in the first half. Lee passes to Coffey. Jackson has the open look. Knocks down the three ball. Jackson's got seven points in the game. Well, you have to expand your game if you're going to be effective in the NBA. And Mr. Jackson knocking down the triple. Okay. Pass to Durant. Goes up with the stripe. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got four assists now tonight. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Hits the three-point bomb. He's got ten. You've got to be assertive in catch-and-shoot situations. Josh Jackson aggressive on the catch there. Really nice. Here's KD and the jam by Kevin Durant. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. From about 16, count it. Harris has got his first two points. Kyrie Irving. 
Irving understands how to find an open teammate, puts it exactly where it needs to be. That one good for two. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. Brooklyn ahead, up 19. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. KD, you're running and gunning out there. How much fun is it when the offense is flowing like that? Well, I think um, you know, this team is uh, very well disciplined, and uh, they do all the details, and we just wanted to play harder, man. And I think we got some steals, got some fast break points, and we're playing together, everybody touching the ball. Uh, it's just fun when we play like that, so we got to continue to do that. KD, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime, so we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter. Hi everyone, let's start things off by checking out the Player of the Month Award recipients. The selection for the Western Conference, Luka Doncic. This isn't the first and it will not be the last one of these awards for Luka Doncic. A master at getting his own shot, the world is creating for others, simply unstoppable on offense. Also a tremendous rebound in his position. And now turning our attention to this game, we have seen a very confident performance for the Brooklyn Nets. Well, they knocked the win out of the defense in transition, converting fast break baskets in volume. It's a runaway lead right now. In fact, this looks like a track meet. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. with the second half upon us. We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. And, and if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. The small and power forwards are Harris and Durant. Curry is out there with Irving, and it's Drummond in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Curry with it. Now guarded by Brad. And it's Drummond with the jam. Andre Drummond, my goodness, throw it up high. Let him finish the rest. Endorse, you can feel Andre Drummond's presence all over the floor. But it's really on the glass where he is truly at his most dominant. He is nearly unmatched in terms of his rebounding ability. This guy is a multi-time lead leader in that stat. He works so hard to secure possessions for his team. It's one thing to be a scorer. It's another thing to be an efficient offensive player. Kyrie Irving doing work right now. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Brooklyn Nets are creating a fresh legacy. Kevin Durant says it's new energy. We're one of the first teams in Nets history where fans are expecting us to do good things. The basketball culture is deep in Brooklyn, and they're looking for a team to latch on to. Well, guys, it looks like they found a good one. I agree, David. Thanks. Nets leading by 17. Curry with it. Picked up by Brown. Outside Curry. Back to Irving. Just five on the clock. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Here's Harris. Conchar pulls it in. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Harris kicks to Drummond. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Irving attacking. Banked in off the glass. Irving's got six points in the quarter. I could make the case Kyrie Irving is the best ball handler of all time. On the dribble drive, look out. Holiday against the bucket. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here.
So Marcus Aldridge has checked in for the Nets. Ben Simmons comes in for Kevin Durant. And Louisville here with the change, too. Cauley Stein's checked in. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. A shot missing. Now Louisville takes it the other way. Brown with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Outside Holiday. A rebound by the Nets. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Curry against Holiday. The pass to Simmons. And he lays it straight in. Simmons got six points. And the length of Simmons and using this as well as that athleticism to pull in the offensive rebound. Holiday gets the bucket. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. A shot's good from Irving. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. A shot by Holiday, no good. Nets leading by 17. Irving kicks to Harris. Outside Curry. Harris outside. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got assist number five here tonight. We all know Joe Harris is a dead-eye shooter from distance who helps space the floor. What a look. A three-pointer is right on target. The defense a step slow. You can see the results. Here's Irving. Aldridge trying to break free. Lays it up off the glass. Irving's got 10 points here in the second half. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. We're giving t-shirts to the loudest section in the building. Come on. Who wants it? Get loud. All right, he's coming out to the court. Come on, get loud for your Brooklyn So for the Nets, Griffin comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And Nicholas Claxton subbed in for Curry. Louisville trails by 19. Pass to Coley Stein. Outside Jackson. He kicks the lead. For the three. And there's Jackson on the assist by Lee. Lee's got three assists tonight. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Irving drives in. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch lane. Irving's got 12 points now in the quarter. And more than one observer, Greg, has called Irving the most entertaining player in the game. What do you think? A lot of competition for that distinction. But Irving does some things that no one else can, at least at his level. And then you never know when he's going to give us a juicy sound bite. They set the pick. Here's Griffin. Outside for Simmons. Second shot opportunity. There's the triple. Six on the shot clock. And the Nets, another three. And that pass first nature of Simmons, outstanding at understanding when his teammates are open. Lee finds Patterson. And again, it's Louisville converting. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Outside Irving, pass to Simmons. 112 left to play here in the third. Griffin, no one around him. That doesn't go either for Griffin. Louisville trails by 17. Cauley Stein dishes to Patterson. And again, it's Louisville from deep. Their ability, uh, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. 
slicing in. and dicing the defense to pieces. When Simmons cuts hard inside, he is very hard to control. Count that one. And that's now 17 points for Josh Jackson. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Lee outside. Jackson from long range. And they recover it. Out to Lee. From the arc. Got that one, and the Nets lead has been cut to just 11 on the basket from Patterson. To me, when Patrick Patterson is hitting from deep, it makes everything easier for his teammates. He has got tremendous touch. That one goes. Count it. Irving's got 31 points. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Yeah, the line with two shots. First one falls for him. I'll tell you, the potential of Josh Jackson is really enticing. This guy is a remarkable athlete. He can defend the basket at a high level. If he gets a jump shot, guys, that's consistent, look out. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Nets lead by 11. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. Everything we get. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. On the court for Louisville, they've got Bruce Brown. And it's Conchar in at the two. Holiday, the pass to Brant. Fires the three. And Holiday with the basket on the assist by Bradley. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Simmons looking around. KD drives in. That shot misses. Now Louisville takes it the other way. Outside Holiday. Brown outside. Gonchar, the pass to Brant. Brown outside. Louisville passing it around. The shot by Holiday, no good. And this has been an outstanding display on the boards and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game doing the dirty work down low Aldridge against Brown from about 19 feet gets it to fall and now he's 10 to 15 on the game it's this kind of consistency, guys, as a scorer that always has Kevin Durant in the MVP conversation. That is good. And the Nets' lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Holiday. Outside Irving. Takes the 13-footer, and it's good for two. Irving's got 33. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Again, Holiday missing. As Durant with the ball, he'll bring it up for the Nets. Let's the three fly. And the rebound goes to Louisville. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage he put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second. Hits it from three-point range. And how about the last five made shots have all been three. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Louisville trails by eight. Holiday with the three. It's rebounded by Aldridge. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. 
Drummond, and it's Drummond with the jam. Wait, how about that quick elevation by Andre Drummond? Doesn't miss an opportunity when it's that easy. Drummond's gone four or five, shooting from the field. Holiday, the pass to Brantley. Here's Conchar. Brantley kicks to Holiday. And here's Brown outside. Rebound, Brooklyn. Aldridge has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. A nice shot by Katie. Well, such a great decision maker, right? Durant feels out the situation, goes with the pull-up game. Holiday with the three, sinks the triple. Holiday. Holiday's got nine three. points in the quarter. Wow, he looks like a completely different player in this half. He's found his rhythm. We get two six, and they're free. Move on to Come on, take some more. All right, look who's coming out to the court. Come on, get loud for sure. Brooklyn it. Changes for Brooklyn. Harris is checked in for Durant. And it's Seth Curry in for LaMarcus Aldridge. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks. During the break, this was what was going on in Steve Nash's huddle. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack, but he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out in the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? All right, thank you, David. All goes to the away team. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Louisville. On Wednesday, they'll take on Kevin Love and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Then on Friday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And for that game against Los Angeles, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points for the chance for another one at the strike. Defensive foul. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Nets. Their ability to rebound and convert those second chance opportunities has been a running theme throughout. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. Here's Conshaw. And it's off from three-point range. Yeah, and that's been the story of the game. I mean, the rebounding has been very one-sided. Outside curve. That's to Drummond. Outside Simmons. Back to Drummond. Outside for Simmons. No good from outside. Louisville trails by 15. From deep. Hands it from downtown. Holiday's got 12 now in this quarter. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. The three. Louisville getting another chance here. And it's Brown missing. That's leading by 12. There is with it. Picked up by Brown. Curry dishes to Simmons. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Simmons got nine points here in the second half. When you think of Seth Curry, you're thinking shooting. But there, what a pretty pass to find the open man. Present the New Balance Player of the Game, Kyrie Irving. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. The pass to Katie. 
He's looking for Drummond and finds him up high to stop the alley -oop. Well, we think of Durant as a naturally gifted scorer. Fact is, this guy understands how to get his teammates open. Holiday with the three, and again, it's Louisville from deep. Well, the defense deserves to get burned. Absolutely no excuse for leaving him open. Irving surveying the floor. Durant down low. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance button. KD's got 29. Yeah, what a sequence by Kevin Durant. If he's near the cup when a shot goes up, he's going to use that length, his feel for where it's going to come off, and he's going to make you pay. Making a huge difference from deep tonight. That was a big-time shot. That's where the bulk of his offense has come from, and they're going to need a few more of them before this one's over. Here's KD. Missed inside. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Round the pass to Holiday. From deep three-point range, it's Drummond with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. That one goes in. Convincing lead with very little time remaining. And the fans are pumped. And they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. And they know it's theirs to lose at this point. Such a reliable threat from range. You think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Outside Irving. Here's KD. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. And that's 31 points for KD. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that, and then some. Come on, the teacher! you're There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Louisville, no good that time either. Irving with it. And so it's Brooklyn Eagles.